In this video, we will explain how to calculate the personal resource abundance multiplier. If you have not watched the video, how to calculate the percentage change in time prices, please do so before watching this video. The personal resource abundance multiplier tells you how many units of a resource the same amount of working time buys at different points in time. You can also think of the multiplier as showing how much more or less abundant a resource has become from the perspective of an individual over time. The personal resource abundance multiplier is the ratio of the start year time price over the end year time price. With respect to our banana example, the multiplier equals three divided by two or 1.5. In other words, the working time required to earn enough money to buy one banana in the start year of the analysis will purchase 1.5 bananas in the end year of the analysis. As long as the multiplier is greater than one, personal resource abundance is increasing. Note that the relationship between percentage change in time price and the personal resource abundance multiplier is geometric, not linear. Time price can only decrease by 100%, but personal resource abundance can increase infinitely. For example, when the time price falls by 50%, the same amount of time will now get you two units, or 100% more. If the time price falls by 75%, you can now get four units for the same amount of time, or 300% more. A 90% decrease in the time price will yield a 900% increase. In other words, you will get 10 units. As the time price approaches zero, abundance approaches infinity. Please watch the next video in the series on how to calculate the percentage change in the personal resource abundance to learn more about how time prices reveal our true reality.